Hello everyone, and welcome to the Brick Formula review of LEGO Set 70701. And this is the Swarm Interceptor, it has 218 pieces, Phases 7 to 14, and it's from the Galaxy Squad series, and this set retails for $19.99. And here in the front, you can see the two of them going on for a head-on collision, and I guess he won't be bugging anybody anymore. Up here we have the minifigs, I'll talk about them later. And here in the back, you can see that there's a lot to do here, and it looks like we have a pretty funny picture here too. Oh nice. Anyway, I'll talk about this set in more detail, coming up. Here are the minifigures, and first up is the Alien Mosquitoid. And he looks great, I love the molding on the head there. And the antennas can come off, you can just rip them off just like that. And they look like little worms, which is perfect for this guy. That I have here, he's the fisherman, I'll just give him a worm there. And there we go, see, I think that works, right? Anyway, without the antennas he actually looks pretty funny. Or we just stick it in there and he's good to go. But anyway, he's got a straw for a mouth and he's got a beehive for a stomach. The pants are nothing unique though because they're the same as the bugoid. See? And here's the view of the back. Okay, let's take this head off. Here's the wing piece and here's the printing on the back of the torso there. Up next we have Solomon Blaze. I wonder how that name works with the ladies. The name's Blaze, Solomon Blaze. Hmm, I'm a pilot. Oh, well let me buy you a drink. And I think you could use one because he's not too happy there. And if he is gonna drink, he has a drink with this face because on his alternate face he has a mask. A little hard to drink through there. But anyway, he looks pretty cool with all that stuff around his face there. He's got a target computer for the eye there. And he just looks like an elite alien defense unit. And I love the body art too. Check that out. And there we are. First we'll take a look at the Alien Space Flyer, which is more of like a jet ski in space. And I like the concept behind it, and I think this would have made a really nice poly bag just by itself. And as you can see it's a pretty basic design, and here's what it looks like all around. And in the front here we have adjustable guns. And it's pretty straightforward, we'll just attach the mosquito in the back here, and he's ready to roll. Now we'll take a look at the Swarm Interceptor. And for the most part, I really like the design of the ship. I think it's really cool looking. And you'll notice right away that the cockpit kind of stays leveled as I play with the ship. And that's one of the main play features of this thing, is the fact that you can rotate the cockpit loosely and everything. And while it seems like a nice idea, I'm not very fond of the fact that it rotates loosely. I would have preferred this to have more friction because I do find this a little bit awkward. And plus, when you push this in all the way, there's a small little gap. And that is somewhat of a nuisance too. But there is a way to fix that, and all you need is this little Technic piece right here. And I'll show you how to do that right now. This way it's a lot easier to show you what the ship looks like all around, and it's a lot easier to review it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is split the ship apart in half, which is also another play feature. The wings can open up over here, and this becomes the little space flyer, and you just fly us around and shoot down the aliens. And that sounds like fun. Next you wanna just open up the turret. Okay, and here's some flick farm missiles for you. And you just want to lift off these two slow pieces right there and pull out this assembly. And what you're really doing is just replacing the axle piece that came with the set, which is this thing right here. And now we'll take this one. And these are pretty common. Okay, you can find this in quite a few other sets. And you just want to attach it there and put this on top. And there we are. And we'll just replace the whole thing. Just like that. And there we go. See that? Now there's no more gap, and you can still maintain the rotating function on the ship, except this time we have a lot more friction, and I think it's much cooler to play with. See that? I think that's a lot better. So when you get this set, maybe you want to try that out, and you might like this set that much more. And now to show you guys what this looks like all around, here's a view of the side, and I'll admit that when I first saw this model, I thought it was a little strange that they put this piece right here. It really didn't fit in there. But after you build this, you'll find it to be absolutely genius. Okay, now here's the view of the back, and here's where you get a better idea. You see this big wing piece right here? They use this piece and this piece right here to hold it in place and to lock it down. And that's just awesome because you're gonna pull these downward just to convert this into turret mode. And without those locking it in place, you'll be ripping the wings off all the time. And I thought that was just brilliant. I mean, wow, I actually learned something too. And right there, it's a huge plus for the set. And here's a view of the other side. And speak of the turret mode, here's what it looks like when it's standing. And there we are. And you just fire away the missiles there. And that looks like fun. And now we can put in our minifig into the cockpit. 
And we have a lot of space inside there. There's the control panel and everything. Um, you can have them slip straight up because there's plenty of space. And that looks really nice, doesn't it? And it's much better now that the cockpit doesn't rotate so loosely. And now I can rotate it any way I like and fly it that way if I want. Much better. And now we'll move on to the recommendations. Overall, this is a pretty good set. When it comes to the value, we have a price per piece ratio of 9.2 cents per piece, and we're getting about 24 to $33 worth of parts here, not including the minifigs. The minifigs, each of them are worth around $6. So in the end, it's a pretty good deal since this retails for 20. And when it comes to the play value, it's really good too. Considering the size of the ship, there's actually a lot to do here. Okay, we have the splitting function and the rotating function with the cockpit, and this part can open up and the wings can span out. And we also have the turret mode with flick fire missiles and the adjustable wings. And this section right here was something that I learned that I thought was new. And that right there is always nice. We have detachable guns for the minifigs and that's a lot for $20. And the only bad thing really is the axle piece right here. I didn't like how it was kind of loose like that, but that's easy to fix as you saw earlier. The other bad thing is that we get some pretty annoying stickers. I don't really like the big stickers too much. And if this sticker sheet is curled up for you, you might want to get another one because these will peel off eventually. We also have these stickers that go on the slopes there and that's pretty annoying to put on too. But I will admit that these do add some nice details to the ship overall. So in the end, I think it's a pretty nice set and I think you'll like it. And that's it, that sums up my review. I hope you guys enjoyed the show and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Here are the minifigures, and first up is the alien mosquitoid, and I love the shape of the head. I think that's a really good molding there. The antennas can come off too, which is pretty interesting. They kind of look like somebody's guts or their intestines. I mean, let me take a look. This guy, he's injured, or more like dead. You just kind of stick that right there, and hmm, medic. And as you can see, it would have made a really nice potty bag. Just, oops, I forgot to put my phone on silence.